Okay. So, <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a very <laughs> challenging month, and I apologize um, not to make light of the matter or, you know, not to put a damper on things either. The Tower is one of the most difficult cards to deal with in the deck. Okay, in terms of um, externally, the tower is just beyond your control. It's the major arcana, and these things happen outside of our control. However, you do have a situation here that is totally, totally within your control, and I want you to be aware of it. Um, okay, so what I'm seeing right here is um, there are a lot of backstabbers. There are a lot of liars in your mist, okay? A lot of them, a lot, a lot, a lot of them. In particularly, I see two, two. If you are, um, if you are a Virgo man, I see two, um, two other males. One is a water sign, and one is a fire sign. So, if you are a Virgo male, one is a, um, there is another male or two other male in your mist who is a water sign and who is a fire sign, and they are colluding with each other against you, okay? If you are a Virgo female, there are two other women in your midst, and I feel that um, you and the other people should be very similar in age. Even for Virgo men, you and the other two men are very similar in age, similar in lifestyle, in, you know, like a life path as well. So you should be basically uniform in, you know, your, um, in your, basically, if you're single, then they're single. If you're married, then, you know, they're, you guys are very similar in life station and life path. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. And, um, if you're a Virgo female, likewise, two other women in your life, one is a water sign, one is a fire sign, and they are colluding with one another. They're, they're, they're gossiping about you, first of all, and they are not true friends. They are backstabbing. They are backstabbing horrible, horrible people. And um, I'm you're not aware of this situation. And I feel for Virgo men, Virgo female as well, you both are not aware of this situation. You consider them your dearest friends, and they are backstabbing you. Okay, they are really, really wretched, horrible people. So, um, let's see if we... So, just be wary of that. And, you know, um, I know that, um, like, with Virgo signs, Virgo people, um, you are very, very, extremely helpful. Um, you are very good people. You are very honest. You keep to yourself. You honor your words. You honor your thoughts. You honor the people around you, and you are extremely helpful. Like, you are trusting, helpful, loving to a fault. And um, you would never do anybody wrong. That's what I feel. But um, the people around you, instead of honoring your integrity, honoring your truthfulness, and honoring you and respecting you as a person... They see your kindness as a weakness, and they take advantage of it. And I feel like this is an ongoing issue. And I, I'm actually seeing this so, so many times for a lot of my Virgo clients, too. And it, it's really heartbreaking. And I feel that this is the month in which things will come to light, okay? And um, so with a lot of the Mercury in retrograde period... Um, the Virgo sign is also ruled by Mer the planet Mercury. With it going into retrograde, um, I feel that your mental faculties are going to be delayed, but it's for a good reason. It's delaying your mental faculties, the ability for you to express yourself and to process information. is kind of jumbled up, and um, but it's happening for a good reason, so that you can rely more on your t intuition and your insights, other means of communication, other means of processing ideas and um, information, like using your intuition, for example, just so that you can catch these people, okay? And it's a horrible situation. I would not wish this on anybody, but um, whoever it is you consider, you're, you're considering your true friends, they are not your friends. They're they're horrible people, and they deserve to be extracted from your life because they are just 
this has been an ongoing thing and you're not aware of it. So use this Mercury in retrograde to be by yourself for a little bit, okay? To really assess and really be critical of the company that you keep. Because um, I know you try to be really helpful and you always try to accommodate other people. And other people are always taking advantage of you. And you're not even aware of it. So this hangman here, he's coming in at the end of the month. And I feel that um, with this tower situation, this whole, you know, clan that are, you know, um, conniving with one another, they're th like, um, wh what is that word? They're, um, they're plotting with one another. They're going to be exposed. And it's going to create require a little more creativity and a little more objectivity on your part. So like I said, use this Mercury in retrograde where your normal channel of assessing and accessing information is delayed so that you can use, rely more on your intuition, rely, think creatively so you can catch these people in the act, okay? And um, I'm pretty sure you know ways to do that. I mean, I've been I've heard this before where you can tell somebody like a really startling secret. One person a startling secret and then you tell somebody another person like a really major secret but the the stories are different and then see which story surfaces that way you know who it is. But I just feel like in this situation that won't even be sufficient because um these people have been around for a long time. You still haven't caught them. And I know Virgos are very critical of people as well. So <clears throat> this is a situation in which things have, have to happen. And things have to run its course. And I know it's very horrible. But we have to get to this situation. This is coming in... Um, this is coming in halfway through the month. But the effects are going to reverberate throughout the till the end of February, but you're going to be at a better place, okay? New information is coming to light. These people are going to be exposed. And then at that point, you're going to, it's basically turning your world upside down, you know? This is what I'm feeling here because um, with this tower situation, whatever old patterns of behavior, whatever structure that you've rely on, whatever friendship, relationship, work situation you've established for, your, uh, for yourself is going to be ripped apart, okay? So it's going to require a lot of self-awareness. It's going to be re require a lot of um, creativity, and also insight, all these things for you to rebuild your world, okay? And I'm really, I mean, the, this reading is so, I'm getting like, I'm getting chills from this reading. And this is actually the first time I'm feeling it so strongly, but this is not the type of energy I'm hoping to get for a Virgo. Um, just because like, Virgos are really sweet, loving people. And I've all the Virgos I've met have a really genuinely good heart. Okay. So I honestly, you know, things happen to uh, reveal to us the truth. Okay. And with this high priestess in the reverse position, the truth will be revealed for you. And um, you're not going to be the same person coming out of this. But um, these people need to be severed. Severed. Just... From your life just so you can move to a better station all right so just know this is enlightening news that will shake the foundation of your life but it needed to happen so these people can be exposed for what they are so that you would have better awareness you would have better insight and you can move on from the situation because they are conniving horrible terrible people so I just want you to be aware of this. It's just going to be a rough month, okay? I'm actually going to pull out two more cards and um, just see about the situation, okay? Because this is just very potent energy. And um, I keep hearing this for Virgos too. So let me see how this situation will resolve themselves. Okay, so I have the Two of Pentacles here. The Knight of Cups here. Two of Pentacles is in reverse. Knight of Cups upright. The ten of um, the ten of Pentacles upright and the Eight of Cups. So advice here: um, you can't recover from this. Okay, you you can't just um, go back to it. All right, this is showing up in reverse. So you have to choose to walk away. You have to do it as fast as you can because these are very toxic people. 
Um, things happen for a reason, and you have to make the choice to walk away for your betterment. Um, you don't want to keep these people around because um, I don't know what they're up to, but whatever it is, it is extremely damaging to you. And I feel like deep down, you have your your intuition is telling you who it is as well, but you're not relying on your intuition. So it's time to snap out of it and be objective about this, okay? It's going to hurt, but these people don't deserve the time of day with you. They, they just don't deserve it. So snap out of it. Be a little more objective when you analyze the situation because this is really toxic energy that you are putting up with. Okay, please. So let it go. Um, as well, I want you to know... Um, okay, so... I feel that you have a very, very stable and a very, um, a very loving, stable and fulfilling foundation. This could be a relationship or this could be, you know, just your home life in general. And other people are extremely envious of that. You have a very um, loving, it, for those of you in a marriage or a partnership, you have a very loving partner. Okay, and I'm not reading this as a, a person. This is more of an energy um, in that your your partner, your your um, your your spouse or your partner, they're extremely emotionally supportive. So this is not a, a situation in which this is more of a friendship situation because if you're a man, there are going to be two other men who are just conniving bad people. If you're a woman, there are other two women. So I don't feel like it's a situation in which there's infidelity coming from your spouse. I, I don't see that. But um, they're just very jealous of what you have. They're jealous of the stability within your home. They're jealous of that situation that you have with your significant other, your spouse, or your um, boyfriend or girlfriend. These people are very jealous of the things, the abundance you have in your, within your life. And um, the situation is coming out like this, okay? You're weighing the pros and cons about letting these people go and you're almost thinking like should I confront them or should I just um, slither away, N not slither, a Virgo does not slither, but um, should I you know, confront them or should I just keep quiet about this and I feel that you're going to have a revelation, you're going to know who these people are and it's going to be very damaging and um, you're not, there are two of them, there, there's only one of you. so you're assessing whether or not you can confront them or whether you can just quietly walk away and I see you you know thinking this through through the end of February and my advice is you know they don't deserve another word from you um, even though you know um, screaming and crying and kicking will give you that satisfaction of you know like hurting the people that hurt you I just feel that um, walking away quietly would actually make a much more powerful statement with these people because they don't deserve another second, another minute. They don't deserve the satisfaction of seeing you breaking down and crying. So just quietly walk away from this because they are truly, really horrible people, okay? So I'm very, very sorry for this situation happening. It this is just really, really horrible energy. Um, I'm sorry this is coming out like this, but um, I think you need to be a little more discerning about um, who these people are, and you need to... Um, they need to be called out. Okay, if you're not going to do it, the universe is going to do it to call them out on their bad attitude, their behaviors, okay? Because this is not acceptable. <laughs> 